Before this video starts, I want to let you guys know that my Patreon is linked down below in the description if you guys want to support me. If you guys choose to support me, you guys can receive monthly benefit files being coding files that we code here in the series. Thank you guys so much for the support, and I'll see you guys in the video. Hey, what is going on guys and girls? My name is Fusion Terry here. We're back again with another video, and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make embeds for your Discord bot in ScratchGS version 13. Now, specifically in this video, I'm going to show you guys a little more in-depth of what you guys can do with some of your embeds so you guys can get a little more customization purposes. I'm going to refer to this video a lot here in the series, so I recommend you guys do watch all the way to the end so you guys can see some of the cool features you guys can do here with embeds. Especially if you're new, it's good to learn embeds because you use them all the time. So with all that out of the way, all the links I show here are going to be linked down in the description below as always for you guys to have easy access. And uh, with all that out of the way, if this is your first episode in the series, I recommend you guys go ahead and start from episode one so you guys don't miss any of the cool features and you guys shouldn't have any issues with your code. Along with that, if you guys are watching this around the same upload week of when I uploaded this or week or two, I recommend you guys hit the subscribe button so you guys can watch the rest of the series and the more uploads in the series I'm going to keep posting because this is an ongoing series here on the channel. So with all that out of the way, we can go ahead and hop into today's video. Now, today's video is going to be based off of the embeds guide here at the discord.js guide. This is always linked in my description below for you guys to go up and read on because it has a ton of cool different things that you guys can learn about discord.js. So we're going to be going over embeds today. I'm going to be showing you guys how to make an embed with a good majority of these properties here, if all of them, or sorry, if not all of them. Um, what we're also going to be doing is using the constructor to make embeds. We're not going to be using an object. You can make an object as well, but I just find uh, it can tend to be very big, especially if you are making a big embed or want a lot in your embed. Um, so we're just going to use the constructor instead. Along with that, we're going to be attaching some images here today as well. So this is going to be linked down in the description below. I'm going to be showing you guys how to do that anyways, so you guys shouldn't have to go and read up on it, but I recommend you guys do anyways. We're going to go into our v13 pot here and in the directory or the directory to the folder we're just going to type cmd to open a command prompt window in here we can type code space dot to open this up in visual studio code now in the last video i showed you guys how to make sub commands i definitely recommend you guys watch that as it's sub commands it's a huge portion of the commands and slash commands in v13 so i recommend you guys don't miss it on that feature so we made that in the last video we just had it return a message based on the user that input it or the server in this case we're just going to be making an embed for the user um, so basically saying here that if we use the info command with the sub command user, basically we're getting info about a user, um, we're going to return an embed for our output instead of what we got a message for right here. So in this case, it just returns a string with saying username and the person who used the command. And then if there were a person to be mentioned, it would put their name right here, as well as their ID afterwards, which would be the person who executed it if they didn't mention somebody. So with that out of the way, we can go ahead and go up to the top here. We can go const and then we can open this up and we're going to do message. Uh, embed and then we can also do message attachment and then what we can do here is do equals to require and then we can go ahead and open this up and do discord.js right in here and now the semicolon and then in here what we can do is make a few lines we're gonna do const user embed is gonna be equal to a new message not an attachment we're a new message embed just like this then what we can do is go ahead and do dot set title. Now this is going to be the title of our embed. You can only set one of these. I'm also going to link and mention later on the embed rates because there's rate limits for embeds, whereas how many fields they can have. Uh, we're going to get into that afterwards. We'll review over that. But um, we're going to be setting our title for now. So our title is just going to be uh, the user's information. So we're going to go ahead and put in um, dollar sign. Open this up in the back ticks here. User dot username. And then we can do information you can do a description if you want dot set description now i'm just going to put in something random here and i'm just going to say something along the lines of uh this is a description you guys can put whatever you want here i'm just showing you once again the customization purposes you guys can use an embed for um we can also go ahead and do a bunch of other things here i'm going to refer to the docs here real quick so i'll pull this up uh, what's really cool is the docs has all the methods and embeds uh for embeds i should say along with the properties you can get from an embed um, like the hex color and whatnot. We're going to be going through a good majority of these methods here today, except for normalized field, normalized fields, and uh, these last two here, two JSON and splice fields. You guys should know what two JSON does; it just converts it to JSON. And um, as for these other things, we're going to go over that right now. So using this constructor here, we're going to then go ahead and set a URL. Now this is going to allow us to, once the embed is sent to your channel, we can click on where the title is, and it's a hyperlink. If you guys know what a hyperlink is, it's text you can click on it, it redirects you to a link. So we're going to set the URL to that link we want here. So https colon forward slash forward slash, I'm going to do youtube.com forward slash fusion terror. And I'm going to copy this link once again, because we're going to use this uh, in a minute here for our author. So we can do dot set author. And I should probably go through what a good majority of these uh, actually do for the embed real quick. So we'll do that in a second here um, to actually go over specifics through the guide. 
But for the author, we can just set a name of who the author is. So in this case, I wrote it. And then I'm also pass in a, uh, not a link here. Yeah, actually I'm gonna pass in a link here because then I can also pass in a URL afterwards. So in between here, I'm gonna pass in a icon. Um, in this case, we can just do, uh, where is our clients? Do we have client pass in here? Yeah, we should. Uh, we're gonna go into our events, into our interaction create here. We're gonna pass client into our event like it already is here and we're gonna pass it into our uh, command as well. So then we're gonna save this file, go back into here and then we should be able to pass in client right here. Then we're able to use client right here. So client.user.display avatar URL and that's a method right here. And then what we can do is then go ahead and pass in our link that we want the author to be clickable on, like a hyperlink as well. Uh, it's kind of bad wording for it on my behalf, so I'm sorry. Next, we're gonna do that set thumbnail. Um, we're gonna go over these, I guess, afterwards, after we input all these. I'll go into the Discord server when we show the example. I'll tell you guys exactly, like, this is the author, this is the URL, etc. So for the thumbnail, it just takes in one parameter here. It just takes in a URL string. So we can put anything we want here, um, being a link to a image or something online i'm just going to do the clients.user.displayavatar url um, once again just so then i can get the bots icon to show up as the thumbnail um, and then what we can do as well as we can do add fields so in this case um, add field is just to add one singular field if you want to add many which in most cases you will it's add fields with an s and then we just pass in some objects here so our first object is going to be name and then the name of this field is going to be uh, username colon and then we can do a comma after this do value uh, open this up and we can do username is and then we can do dollar sign open this up user dot username just like that and then if we wanted to do another um, little field here for uh, let's say a blank field we can do that as well. So blank fields, we actually have to put in a little bit more of a uh, secret code. Well, not a secret code, I should say. It's like backslash u uh, 200v. Uh, there was a different way in v12 to do it. I don't know why we have to put in specifically this. And I think it's an invisible character or something. Don't quote me on it because I don't know. But that's what we're gonna go ahead and pass in here for both our name and value. And we're also gonna go ahead and pass in an inline option. Now inline options and embeds basically do two different things. If you have no inline by default, it's already set to false. Your embed fields are gonna appear underneath each other stacked on Discord. If you set the inline to true, you can have three different fields appear in an embed beside each other horizontally, not stacked vertically, and you can have up to three if they're all set in a row to inline equals true. So I'll show you guys that example here. Um, so we can do inline and then we can do true. And then we're gonna do the same for the blank field here. Once again, inline is gonna be then set to true right here. And then we're gonna make another field once more and we're gonna do our tag for the user right here. So what we can do then is go to this name part and get rid of this. We can do dollar sign, open this up. We can do user dot discriminator. Uh, I'm gonna be butchering this. So I'm gonna pull up the docs right here. It's the user dot discriminator. For those of you guys wondering how it's spelled, it's spelled right here, so we can do a uh, tag. And actually, we don't even pass this in here just yet. That's just the name portion. And then for the value, we can go ahead and do tag is, and then hashtag dollar sign, open this up, and then pass in uh, our user discriminator. I guess we don't have to do the dollar sign that because we already copied that portion. And then we're setting the inline to true right here. So the next thing we can do is then we can go ahead and do stuff like a image. So if we wanted to set an image or attach an image, what we're gonna have to do is make a message attachment. So in this case, we're gonna have to go up here and actually we can just go right above our embed. We can do const and what we can do then, we can do file is then equal to, and then we can do new message attachment, sorry, not embed, attachment. We can open this up and then pass in our path dot slash SRC slash uh, we're gonna have to make an images folder in this case i already did this beforehand we're gonna have to go up here in our source folder and make a new folder and you're gonna want to call it images or whatever you guys want the folder name to be it doesn't have to specifically be images just in this purpose we're calling it images and here i put a little uh image to my icon that i want to show up on the embed you guys just drag and drop your icon right here whatever it is your image that you want to show up on the embed with your file type here as well so in this case it's png so i'm doing images slash and then fusion.png right there and then now that that is done we can go ahead and end this with the semicolon and then what we can do then is in the set image portion we can open up a string right here and we can do attachment colon 
forward slash forward slash and then fusion.png or whatever the name is of that file that's in your images folder right there. So now that we have that done, what we can do next for embeds is we can then go ahead and set a timestamp. Uh, dot set timestamp. This is just going to add a little timestamp in the bottom corner of the embed saying exactly when it was sent to the channel. And then the last thing we can do is a set footer. Um, what the set footer allows us to do is it adds a little bit of text. So in this case, we'll just do the client dot user dot tag. I usually do that just to make it look clean. And then we'll do the client uh, dot user uh, dot display avatar URL because you can also pass in a URL right here to get a little image in the footer. So now to actually go ahead and show you guys what this embed looks like, we're going to go ahead and uh, use this here. So what we're going to do is then instead of replying with this, we're going to go ahead and then reply with an object. And now in this object, we're going to do embeds and then open up this array and it's going to be our user embed right here. And then we can go ahead and then pass in, I believe it's files and then our file right here. And then I think we are pretty much good to go. This should apply. Uh, when we ping somebody, if we don't ping somebody, we should still get this normal string. So just to show you guys the difference between a normal message and an embed, there's a very clear difference though, if you guys don't know. So we're going to file, save all, uh, we can go to terminal, new terminal, and um, we'll do npm run test. We'll get our bot online and then I'll show you guys the embed rate limits first and then we can go ahead and actually go ahead and test this. And one quick thing I wanted to mention, if you guys are editing a message where it's message.edit, it's passing in the same way with the embeds and files here. If you guys were to go ahead and edit a message with a uh, attached image to an embed or just an embed. And actually one of the more important ones we forgot is dot set color. So dot set color, it allows us to pass in a color resolvable here. You can pass in a whole bunch that are already added like purple, dark gray. We'll just do purple for this. You can pass in a hex color code here if you guys want. In this case, I'm just gonna do purple and I'm gonna go file, save all, and I'm gonna rerun this just by hitting control C here, hitting Y on my keyboard, typing clear just to clear it up a little bit, and then npm run test to get my script going once again here. This is gonna get the bot going on online with all my new changes being the uh, set color we used here. This is not uh, too important when it comes to embeds, but it just makes it look a little bit nicer. So uh, we wanted to do that. Next, I wanna to talk to you guys is embed limits. Now embed limits is basically rate limits as to what uh, embeds can do. So right here, embeds can have a title limits to uh, 265 characters description can be like 4096 and it goes on about how many fields it can have and a whole bunch of rate limits like that i recommend you guys look into it because you guys might get some issues here if you guys you know go on and on in your title of your embed opposed to your description so uh, i recommend you guys definitely check this out so now with our bot online over here in the discord server we can go ahead and run our info command now first we're not going to ping anybody because we want to return just the normal information now this is the clean message that we had coded before we want to show an embed. So we're going to actually go ahead and then ping myself this time. And this should go ahead and then return uh, our image attachment here, which in this case, uh, it didn't show up correctly or no, this is our client. Sorry. This is our image attachment. So I'm going to go over everything here in the embed. So this is the author portion. We set the icon for the author being our client, being our uh, discord bot itself. You guys can see here, they have the same icon. Uh, I set the author name being myself, and this has a little clickable link to my YouTube channel that I put in there for the uh, URL of the author. Now this is the title of the embed that we used for dot set title, and then dot set URL allows this to be a hyperlink where if I click on this, it'll want to redirect me to that link once again. This is a field right here, and there's also a blank field in between here, but I'm pretty sure when it's set to inline equals true, it just gets canceled out just like that. So we have them next to each other just like this. Then what we have here is our attachment with set image. Now I forgot to go over. This is the value or sorry. This is the value of the field. And this is a name of a field up here. The top and the bottom is the value. This is the thumbnail right here of the embed. This is the set image, the image attachment that we attached. And then down here is the footer being the icon. We set the text. We set being the bots username being their tag as well. And then we also did a set footer or sorry, not footer set timestamp to get to the date of today of when it sent to the channel. And then you guys can see here to match my nice little icon right here, we have the color of the embed being purple with this little stripe right here. I think I covered a lot there with embeds that I didn't cover in my other series. So if you guys enjoyed this video and it worked for you guys, slap like button on this video is much appreciated. Hit subscribe with post notifications so you guys never miss an upload in the series. If you guys need some support, join the Discord server link in the description below. You guys need to get level five in the server. It's not too long. It's like 200 messages or so and then you guys get level five, you can get access to full support. So once again, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.